Hi everyone, this is a tutorial on a piece of software called ManyCam. Uh, it's completely free and what it enables you to do is add special effects to your webcam chats. First thing you need to do is go to the website and I've provided a link both to the home page and a direct link to CNET where you can download the software. Um, the installation process is very simple and straightforward, so I won't go through that. Once you've installed the software, you'll find a shortcut on your desktop. Now, if you double click that, at first you'll think, well, nothing's happened. But what you'll find down in your taskbar is this icon here. If you right click it and select options, this window will open. Now you can see my face already in the preview window. And here you'll see the source has been selected as my Logitech QuickCam Pro. But the first thing you need to do is set this up to be used in your chat program. Now we'll use Skype as an example. So if I open up my Skype, go to Tools, down to Options, and into Video Settings. Now normally your feed comes directly from your webcam. What we want to do is tell Skype to use the ManyCam software. So click the drop down box and choose ManyCam Virtual Webcam. Save those settings and then click Save and those are done. Now I need to reopen that because I want to do a simulated webcam chat. So get back to my video settings and just get that out of the way. OK, so what can you do with this software? Well, as I said, you can add effects to webcam chats. So let's have a look at some special effects. OK. If we choose dynamic, you can, for example, make it look as though it's snowing on your desktop. You can have a water effect or you can have fire and this is exactly what the other person will see in their view of your webcam because if we go over to Skype settings that's what it will look like to the other person okay other things you can do are face accessories. So if I stop the flame and we'll choose eyebrows and I'll give myself a big bushy pair of eyebrows and as you can see they're pretty good at following you around. So we'll stop those. Um, let's try hair which is something I could do with. Click the hair button and there you are. That's wonderful. Okay. Um, something else you could do is add text over your video window. So if I come down here and type this is a test, you can see that that's appeared at the top of the webcam. Uh, you can have date and time, so you could show a clock and have it either digital or analog. And there are lots of lots of other effects that you can have, um, avatars, you can stick a flag in the corner. Um, these are all just really bits of fun. But there is something quite useful you can do with this. One of the things is that you can play a movie. So if I click the movie box under the Sources tab, um, I've already got a movie selected, so we'll click that and we'll open up a new one. 
Okay, let's put this in. And there you can see a movie playing in the window. And it will also be shown in whoever's watching you. So let's stop that. And another useful thing you can do is to show an image of your desktop. So if I click desktop, and click partial desktop, now wherever I move the mouse, that image will be shown at the other end. In other words, whoever's watching your webcam will see a picture of your desktop. And that could be quite useful if you were trying to explain um, a PC problem, for example. That's now being used as a source instead of your webcam feed. There we are. If I click that, you see it open. There you are. Okay. And go back to webcam feed and you're back at your normal webcam. Okay, let's stop that. So there you are, that is ManyCam. As I said, it's completely free. A lot of it is really just a bit of fun, but the playing movies and being able to show your desktop to whoever's looking at your webcam could be quite useful if you're trying to help them out with a problem. Okay, I um, hope you enjoyed that video. Please remember to rate and comment, and if you like my videos, please subscribe. Thanks.